the situation is more and more chaotic in the sense that there are more and more people coming. I mean, there are a lot of volunteers trying to facilitate this uh, reception and um, help them to be uh, admitted here and find transfer for the Ukrainians because this is only the um, a transfer point. But as uh, last number said, um, we already uh, received it. There were nearly 200,000 Ukrainians that crossed into Poland, over 80,000 just yesterday. So uh, we can see that the numbers are growing and growing. And I just spoke to two ladies who just arrived from Ukraine. They said they spent two days waiting on the other side, on the Ukrainian side, to cross the border. Um, happily, some help uh, was allowed to reach them, to bring them food and water. Uh, but the situation on the other side is uh, worsening as well. Yesterday, the chief of the Bureau of the Prime Minister went to Lviv and he spoke with the local authorities, asking them to facilitate, to simplify the procedures on the Ukrainian side so we don't really have the situation that people in the minus temperatures are actually waiting at the border so they can just smoothly come to Poland because they would be admitted, everyone from Ukraine will be admitted here and allowed to enter. Well, they are, Polish government is preparing um, this, um, location centers for those Ukrainians who are reaching Poland, but also a lot of Polish people are just offering their own houses back to Ukrainians. Um, it's important to mention that we already have two million Ukrainians uh, living in Poland, so a lot of people actually cross the border into Poland. They would stay in Poland because they have relatives, they have friends. A small percentage of them declare they will go to the other countries like Germany and Italy. And I believe some of them will actually accept this kind of offers too. Um, staying in Poland is actually staying next to Ukraine. A lot of them hopes that this situation will calm down very soon and they will be able to go back home. So they don't really want to travel too far also because also because the families are separated. So they want to be uh, near Ukraine and be sort of in touch closer to the relatives that still are in Ukraine, like fathers, partners of the kids, and um, especially men that were not allowed because of the martial law, because of the mobilization to leave, uh, to leave the country.